every Gundam and Gundam Evolution. Today, we're talking about the first true transformable mobile suit produced by Anaheim Electronics during Project Zeta. That boy's name is Big Methus. Coming in hot, he's our only mobile suit that's a dual wielder with the double glizzies. The official name for the double glizzies is called the arm beam guns. The guns themselves, definitely at least eight tiers. They do phenomenal damage. I believe it takes five shots with body, four if you're hitting headshots, which is insane DPS, especially when you consider this in the midst of a team fight. Because they do so much damage, especially during a team fight and how fast they shoot it deals out great dps i think these might be s tier glizzy the description says fully auto but unless i'm missing something these are definitely single shot blasters courtesy of han solo when you hold the left mouse button they shoot by themselves and even though the description says that it's really heavy recoil it's honestly very manageable overall i do think these pistols are s tier great damage great range and you got two of them next up Methus has the repair cables. Now the repair cables do exactly what you would think they would. You strap them on to your teammate, he's getting healed. I think it's hilarious how similar these things look to jumper cables for cars. Truth be told, the repair cables are really good. I'd probably give them a B plus or an A, but honestly, the only reason they don't get to an S tier is because they're really well balanced. Even if Methus got his jumper cables attached to your back, at the end of the day, you still can't get focused by the enemy team. And I think that's real good balance. One thing about this game that is true is that you're getting focus fired by the enemy team, you gonna die. The repair cables are able to revive down allies from a distance. This alone is one of the most underrated abilities in the game. Being able to stay undercover yourself while still being able to heal your teammates, it leads to a lot more successful revives. Definitely a solid B plus or even an A. Next up, Methus has the twin shot. Once again, the twin shot sounds like exactly what it is. He takes his double glizzies, he charges them up for a minute, he shoots them at the same time. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but what it is really good for is its team utility. It's perfect AOE damage. When you shoot it in the middle of a pack of enemies, they're gonna feel that pain. Methus is already in S tier, so if you gave this twin shot even more damage, he might be unkillable. Another good thing about Methus, he's mobile. He can transform, he can get in and out of battle, dealing damage and zipping out before he takes too much damage himself. He can zip in and heal and he can zip out. While he's in spaceship mode, he can still send out the repair cables and he can also shoot the double glizzies. He can also use his alt while in spaceship mode, it's crazy. Of course you can use the flight mode to scout as well, but typically Methus is best used in the midst of a fight. If you scout with him, he might be too far away to heal or to deal any significant get damaged during the fight next up he's got the gun turret now once again this is exactly what it sounds like it's a mobile turret platform that you can set it and forget it it's perfect when placed around corners using it to push enemies or to prevent them from taking ground depending on if you're attacking or defending the damage from the turret is really really solid it's not overpowered once again but it does enough damage to where you do not want to be standing in front of this thing for too long especially if you got a methus that knows how to place this turret power Powerfully and puts it in the middle of good team engagements. Man, this turret adds really great utility to the team. And finally, we have his alt, the energy cable. Essentially, Methus ditches the old jumper cables and he upgrades them for the energy cables. And what the energy cables do is that they supercharge or they give a teammate of your choice a power boost. When you are using the repair cables, whoever's getting healed at that moment will be the person that benefits from the alt. You can also target people who you aren't healing as well. While under the effects of the energy cables, your teammate will take less damage and they will get a bonus to their own damage. Great for units like Zaku2 who's gonna get in there and melee and then he's gonna turn invincible anyway. So he's never gonna die. Definitely get creative with the use of these energy cables. And if you're doing well enough as Methus, you can get two or three of these per round, not per game, per round, that's big. Overall, Methus is a really solid mobile suit, by far the best healer in the game. And much like Dom, he is an absolute must have for any team. His only weakness is that if you're not dealing enough damage, your team can fall behind in overall DPS and you will lose fights because of it. But if you have a really good Methus who can deal damage, he can heal, drop his turret, zip in and out of the battles, man, your team is gonna be hard to beat. This truly solidifies Big Methus 
as one of our only S tier mobile suits in the game. As always, much love and salute to my Methus mains out there. Hope you found this information helpful. Stay tuned for the next Gundam breakdowns and I'll see you on the battlefield.